All right, so now that we have our uh, floppy emulator fixed, um, we need to go ahead and uh, try to start up our diagnostic app. So everything's going good there. So in here next, next, snooper. There we go, disk copy image. So it should start booting that up, I hope. So it's testing RAM, I think. All right, so I'm gonna wait for this to boot all the way up. Okay, so the program has started up. All right, let's see, I'm gonna do RAM, PRAM clock, no SCSI, because it's not plugged in, no serial, no parallel, they're not plugged in. All right, so let's do start. It's going to test the RAM first, which, since the machine is running, it's probably good. So, well, let's hope anyways. Let's hope. Oh, that ain't good. That's not what I expected. So we test the PRAM, which it should be good. That's that four-pin chip, which is also the real-time clock. Yep, passed okay. Clock's all good. Should be. No, nope, it is. It's going to run a CPU test, which obviously it's fine because, well, you know, it's um, hmm, working. All right. That's taking a bit of time. And then, yep, that's good. But the all important FPU test, while well, the ADB test is good. And then FPU, this is the one that was corroded and I wanna check to make sure it's good. Yes, it is. Now I just gotta figure out the RAM. So let's move on. So now that I know the math coprocessor is good, I can go ahead and solder the RAM sockets on. And I realized when that program was running, it was testing banks A and B, A and B. So I'm wondering because there's no RAM here, that's why it's failing. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and put the RAM sockets, these RAM sockets on there and just find some RAM to throw in there and see what happens. All right, I got the new socket soldered in and I got the RAM installed. I had to go borrow some RAM out of another system. I think that's four megs, but I don't recall. I think this is four megs. This came out of a plus. So we'll uh, try it, see what happens. But I got 256 or one meg here and four megs there. I don't know if it's gonna like that too much, but we'll try it. So now we're started up. Let's go ahead and run it. Oh, it's only seeing two megabytes. So the banks must have to be equal. Boom, that's what it is. Both banks have to be populated. Okay, that makes sense. So let's uh, let's let it run, but I think we're gonna be fine. FPU is good, it's all good. So at this point, we can actually conclude that build of this uh, video. So anyways, um, thank you for watching. If you have a comment, please feel free to leave one. Questions, etc. You know how to reach me, and until next time, guys.